This is Eliana Nakam, a little girl with big dreams. I would like to, to be an artist. Today, the 12-year-old is indoors because she wants to be, not because she has to. The first year of her life was spent in the confines of a sterile environment where doors and windows had to stay shut and visitors had to stay out, all to save her life. At four months old, Eliana was diagnosed with a rare disease called Severe Combined Immunodeficiency Disorder, or SCID. Babies born with SCID don't develop the cells required for a functioning immune system, and therefore, every germ could potentially be deadly. Eliana's form, ADA SCID, is ultra rare, with fewer than 10 cases a year. We had to get rid of our cat and dog. We couldn't have any plants in the house. We couldn't have any fresh fruits or vegetables. I mean, we really had to make our apartment as sterilized as possible place for her to live. You had to create a bubble. I had to create a bubble, yes. So instead of actually putting her in a physical bubble, we just lived in, in a bigger bubble. SCID is commonly referred to as bubble boy disease. Left untreated, life expectancy could be just two years. In my head, I immediately thought, um, you know, that I should really expect the worst. But then I felt that I really needed to, you know, dig into the information that was available and help figure out the best course of treatment. And that's when the family from Fredericksburg, Virginia, heard about a clinical trial more than 2,000 miles away from home in Los Angeles that could potentially give Eliana a chance to enjoy a life outside. There he is! I found Zoe! He told us she could do gene therapy, she could do a bone marrow transplant, and if it's successful, they can live potentially like a normal life. And that's all I heard and that's all I cared about. Dr. Donald Cohn is with UCLA's Broad Stem Cell Research and led the clinical trial. They've basically gone from being a very fragile baby in danger of dying from infections to being healthy, vigorous kids. So it's really, it's really gratifying to be able to do that. The treatment is still considered experimental with doctors collecting stem cells from the patient's own bone marrow. In the lab, the cells are isolated, a normal ADA gene is added, and the cells are returned to the body after a round of chemotherapy and start getting to work, building a brand new immune system over the next year. Doctors call it a cure. Of the 62 patients who took part over a five-year span, all are alive, and 59 of them have a completely restored immune function, a 95% success rate. They're living out in the world, they're going to school, they're doing all the normal childhood things without getting unusual infections. Now, the process is anything but easy. Eliana experienced life and death setbacks with the treatment and was in and out of the hospital. Then, one day, her family got the call that would open up their world again. So when she was a year and a half old, and Dr. Cohn told us that she can go out and she can eat food that is normal and I'm allowed to kiss her now. You couldn't kiss your oh, own no, child? No, no, I could not kiss my own child. No, because I, if, what if I have something? You went a year and a half and you didn't kiss no. your own child? No, and I still do not. I still do not because I have lingering, it's Trauma. stuck with me, yes. Trauma. Doctors say the mental toll of such a fragile life may prove as challenging to cure as the disease itself. One of the things we see in a lot of the parents is it's hard to completely drop your guard. Even 12, 13 years later, you still remember how fragile your baby was and that you were the only thing that stood between them and a world full of, full of germs. For Eliana, it's now a world full of possibility and a far cry from her past. I think it's interesting to hear my own backstory. Some of it's a little scary to, to hear, like, if I didn't know it was, like, that emotional and scary for them. Her future, though, is right here in her own hands and as bright as the rainbow she draws. What an amazing kid. What an amazing story. Thanks to Erica Gonzalez. We're so glad to have you with us here in the studio. <laughs> Hallie, um, a pleasure to be with no, you. No, back at you. It's like looking at that, thinking mm -hmm. about the experience that this little yeah. girl has had, her yeah. family here, and how she's doing now. Does she need it? Is there anything else that she needs, like, treatment-wise No, at this point? I got to tell you, this is incredible. Eliana is thriving. She doesn't need any treatments anymore. Sure. She goes in for sort of a routine checkup, if you will, twice a year to make sure that she's still on track with everything. But she's great. Um, she's 12 now. 
She's in school. She has a younger brother. The family has added a dog into the mix, which oh, they couldn't do right, before. That was out of the question. That was out yeah. of the question. So it's those little things that often we take for granted that she can now do. Important to note here, Hallie, that babies are now screened for SCID before they ever leave the hospital. So parents will know before they ever go home. You're a nervous wreck when you take that baby home to begin with. <laughs> yes. But now you'll have the peace of mind of knowing when that baby is screened before you leave the hospital. It's also really rare. But yeah. when you talk about this treatment, when could it be more available, more widely available to the, you know, small slice of people who desperately need it. Right, right. So this is really encouraging and promising for families like Eliana's. Um, UCLA has licensed the therapy to a biotech company. They have it. They're working on it now. And they're hoping that they could have FDA approval in the next two to three years. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, Erica, will you come back? Will you tell more oh, stories here? Oh my goodness, are you it. kidding me, Hallie? Thank you so I much. would be honored. Thank you so very much for the Such invite. a huge, um, so, such gratitude to you and our friends at WRC. Thank you. Really the feeling is mutual. Thank you. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.